दो साल तक कुछ नहीं रह के पास in the meantime ma'am can we begin yes absolutely we should begin with the session so let me go live on facebook so students uh, like for all our demo sessions we are always going live on facebook so that in case if you would want to revisit the demo later on you can uh, go to our facebook group which is facebook.com/group/olympiadsuccess and uh, there you can watch our demo sessions okay so we are live on facebook now and of course this meeting is getting recorded so uh, you can get this recorded session as well just drop a whatsapp message on our registered mobile number which is 9560764447 and you would be getting the details all right so hi everyone uh, once again a very warm welcome to all of you from the olympiad success family today we are here for a demo and interaction program for grade 7 mathematics all five of you are from grade 7 yes okay so jeshwant is yes. from nalgonda telangana ajit is uh, actually shardul from bangalore so ajit why don't you rename yourself by the name shardul i think that would be much better yes absolutely so i have pasted some important links in the chat box uh, you can copy paste those links you can avail those links right and uh, in case you have uh, some questions so let me tell you that what would be the flow of the session and when would be the right time to put up your questions so actually first of all you will get to know your mentor then that will that introduction will be followed by a short informative ppt followed by a short virtual tour of the dashboard of olympiad success and then you'll have the question answer round wherein you can put up your doubt and get the answer then and there and then the actual demo will begin so i hope the flow of the session is clear okay all right so just a tip uh, our uh, name is a very important thing right do we say what's in a name but it begins with a since it is a proper noun it begins with a capital letter okay always remember this so this is a secret side tip it goes okay coming back to the topic so uh, we have with us so kamal sir right he has uh, he's a subject matter expert in maths and uh, he's an excellent mentor and i'm sure you're going to love his sessions he's very experienced and he's been associated with us for quite some time now he loves to interact with kids like you and i'll not speak much i'll go directly to sir Sir, please introduce yourself to the children. Uh, thanks, uh, Monica, ma'am. So, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Sukamal Chatterjee. I had been teaching uh, mathematics for over fifteen years now, um, and I teach, uh, you know, students from class six uh, to twelve, and a lot of uh, other um, batches as well. Um, and I and I uh, really enjoy teaching. Um, and for me mathematics is is a kind of a passion you know i love subject and i love uh, you know interacting with all of you guys right so that's in short about me over to you monica ma'am okay thank you so much sir now children allow me to share my screen for a short informative ppt just a moment I hope my screen is visible to all. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So a very warm welcome to the demo and interaction program for Class Seven Mathematics Batch Three. So as you are already aware, that Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exams. Olympiad Success Live is India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiad's preparation. and school plus by olympiad success is one of its own kind of annual program that includes eight important courses that really matter at this point of time in your life and these are mathematics english science logical reasoning communication both spoken and written vedic math and coding now here you can get one on one online cbse icse igcse and ib classes for grades 2 to 12 one on one preparation classes for international mathematics olympiads like sasmo cmo hkimo timo math counts us common core math competition math kangaroo and prmo so you can meet our international rank holders for the year 2022 23 these are on the screen all brilliant kids like you and international rank holders for the year 2021 22 there's so many 
kids like you. So uh, our sessions and classes are actually group sessions with that size of around 20 students delivered through Zoom by seasoned tutors. You've already met your mentor. So you get three sessions per week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 8 p.m. till 9.15 p.m. with five minutes of break in between. So this means that 35 minutes of class with five minutes of break in between, followed by again 35 minutes of class. And the sessions would be a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussion on previous year papers. So you also get reading material and practice questions, which will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. So uh, you'll very shortly get a tour of dashboard of Olympiad Success by Aarti Ma'am. You also get free access to Olympiad Success platform, wherein you can practice topic-wise mock tests for both maths and reasoning, as well as logical reasoning. So the syllabus is available at this particular link and fees can be paid at this particular link. Don't worry, all the important and relevant links have been pasted in the chat box and will again be pasted in the chat box. So the fees for this entire course is 12,400, uh, sorry, 12,044 rupees and it is going to be a 54 sessions course, okay? Uh, fee includes online classes, daily reading notes and exercises, practice of previous year papers and access to Olympiad Success Platform for mathematics and logical reasoning. So all that you require for these classes is your full concentration, along with a laptop or a desktop with good internet speed, with camera, because we do not allow students without video in the class and headphones for better audio clarity. And as you're already aware that, you know, preparation for Olympiad exams is slightly tougher than your regular school curriculum. So you need to spend at least two hours every day to cope up with the curriculum. And of course, parental support is required at the back end. So uh, Olympiad success in 2022-23 had students from more than 3,800 schools across India and abroad, hailing from 35 plus countries. Now the live classes for this particular batch begins from Saturday, 20th May, 2023. So I hope you've noted down all the relevant information that was required on your part. Now that's all from my side. Now I would request Aarti Ma'am to give you a virtual tour of the dashboard of Olympiad success. All over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the wonderful presentation. And now uh, let us quickly go through the website. So uh, students, like uh, once you enroll to this course, you would be getting your credentials using which you can log into the system. So you have to go to our website, olympiadsuccess.com and go to the page login, uh, enter your credentials, click on the sign in button and you would be redirected to the profile page. Make sure your profile is complete before you move to any other section on the dashboard. So the first important thing is the live classes wherein you can access your material. That is the reading uh, material, practice questions and answer keys. You have to just select the subject, select the topic. So let's say I select simple equations. So everything related to simple equations, the reading material, practice question, answer keys will be coming up. You have to just click on each one of these links present over here and a PDF will open up. Okay. And in the PDF, uh, you can see the details about that particular topic. Uh, just let me turn off my video. I believe there is some problem occurring. So here, like uh, as soon as you click on uh, the read material, a PDF would open up. It's the page has become unresponsive. I think I'm. My network is a bit low. I Just a moment, kids. Uh, maybe because of network issue, our team has been disconnected. She will join again. I think she's here. So in the meanwhile, you can tell me which is the toughest subject, which subject you find most tough. Is it maths or is it something else? Oh, so Kushi finds maths as very tough. Shardul finds bio biology, okay, very tough, okay. What about others? What about Shardul? What about Prana? And what about Jeshwant? Maths, okay, all right. 
सक्षम फाइंस एस एस टी ओके एस एस टी सोशल स्टडीज ऑल राइट ओके जयशवंत इज नॉट आंसरिंग वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर सी आरती मैम इज ऑलरेडी योर आंसर मैम जयशवंत इज ऑलवेज गिविंग अ वंडरफुल स्माइल वी रियली लव योर स्माइल जयशवंत okay let me now share my screen once again and we were discussing about the reading material practice question so once you are on this page students what you have to do is you have to just click on these links okay and the corresponding pdfs would be opening up so as soon as uh, you click so right now i have clicked on the reading material for simple equations so this uh, pdf has opened up and all the content related to simple equations would be given in this file then uh, uh, then what you have to do is like uh, you we have given many practice questions over here so you have to just uh, uh go to click on these practice question links and practice from these questions okay and then finally what you have to do is you have to match your answers given in the answer keys over here okay so here are my answer keys so you have to you, you know you can match your answers so uh, from this answer key provided now i'll discuss about the schedule part so as bonika ma'am had told you earlier in the session let me also check how many sessions will be there 54 sessions are there okay so we have this entire schedule over here of 54 sessions where what we would be taking up in each session is displayed very clearly so in session 1 we would be taking up this session 2 this so on and so forth if you notice one thing like after every topic or two we do have a test okay so this is a test and discussion part which we would be having in each of these sessions and uh, wherein like uh, you would be given a test and you have to take that test and we will be evaluating it okay so just as to make sure that you are very careful in these classes right and uh, at the end if you notice we have some super classes okay so these uh, super classes are dedicated towards practice only so we would be doing lots and lots of practice so it would be uh, focused towards previous year papers all right and then we have this holiday calendar link wherein you can check like what all uh, days on which we would we won't be having the classes then we have this zoom meeting id and password so here your meeting id and password will be displayed using which you can log into these live classes the next important thing is the worksheet part wherein uh, as monica ma'am had mentioned you would be getting free access to comprehensive mathematics and logical reasoning topic wise worksheets so here as you notice we have 87 worksheets available for you these are topic wise worksheets which we would be providing you and uh, from these you can practice and uh, once you practice if you would want to check the answer keys what you have to do is just go to the performance tab select your subject and then click on the view button to view your answer keys so this is all about the platform and now we can take up the queries if you have any please write your doubts your queries in the chat box we'll be happy to answer no queries no doubts kushi shardul jeshwant saksham prana anyone no doubt okay what is the timing of the class let me see who saw the ppt carefully i was speaking so much let me check what are the timings of the class 8 8 what 8 am 8 pm 8 pm till 12 pm okay <laughs> and is that correct everyone what do you think is it correct what is the correct time maybe <laughs> eight with no units till 9:15 pm 
<laughs> you can still think what is the correct time Okay, yes. Jashwant has put in the correct answer now. <laughs> correct. correct. So, Kushi and Jashwant, you're right. Saksham, you're right. Okay. So, any doubt, anyone? Please feel free to ask. This is the time to ask your doubt. No doubt. Everything is crystal clear. But make sure in classes you do ask questions, okay? Everyone. Okay. I think, uh, ma'am, should we begin? Yes, absolutely. We should begin. So all over Hope to you, Sukhama, sir. Thanks, uh, thanks, Monica, ma'am. Thanks, Aarti, ma'am. Okay, so here we go. Okay, guys, uh, can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Your screen is. Can busy. everyone see my screen? Fantastic. So I have a, I have a small, uh, I would say, quiz to start with. So there are eight watermelons that you can see here, and each of the watermelons has a number on it, and you have to select three of them, such that the total comes up to thirty. So I give you one minute for this. Whoever gets it, you can type your answer in the chat box. One minute. No one? You have to just fill in three numbers so that they add up to 30. Okay, let me give you a small hint. 30 is an even number. And the numbers that you see here are all odd numbers. So can you add three odd numbers to get an even number? For example, if I add one plus three plus five, what will I get? Nine. So this is odd, right? So the rule is this, odd plus odd is even. You add any two odd numbers, you'll get an even number, right? Odd plus even is odd. You add an odd and an even, you get an odd. So that means I need a combination of an odd and an even. Right? So odd plus even will give me odd. Now, this even can come from odd plus odd. Right? So this will give me odd. But here, I need an even, not an odd. So this will not work for me. So that means I need one odd and another odd, right? Then I will get an even number. Now, this odd can come from an even plus odd. So that means I need a combination of even plus odd plus odd. So I need two odd 
and one even. So I've given you the hint. You need to pick two odd numbers, one even number. Now you should get it. Okay. Look at the watermelons carefully. Look at the watermelons carefully. This one is actually an inverted six. See the, the all the watermelons are upright but this is turned upside down. So this is actually a six, which is turned upside down. That's why it, it looks like a nine. So that means you do have an even number, which is required here. So you need six plus two odd numbers to give you 30, which means you need a combination of 30 minus six, which is 24. So therefore, you can pick 11 and 30. So 6, 11, 13 gives you 30. Yeah, it's not 9. It's 6. It's, it, is, it is looking like a 9 because it is inverted. It's actually 6. Right? Now, the reason why I gave you this example is to show you that many a times, and, and you'll, you'll, you'll face this when we do the actual classes. In many uh, uh, occasions, you, you will be uh, reading a question, but you'll not read it carefully. So you'll actually be overlooking a very vital information which is already there. But you have, you have to be extra careful to, to read it correctly and, you know, uh, find the right information from the question. Okay, so never mind. We'll we'll do a lot of uh, these examples later. Okay, now let me ask you a very simple question before I go to the the topic of equations. All of you, you have read, you have studied numbers, right? We have numbers from zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, how many numbers are there? Ten. So, we have ten numbers. And all other numbers are made up of these numbers. You cannot have any other number which is not made up of any of these numbers. Any number that you think of, whether it is an integer, fraction, decimal, Anything will be made up of one or more of these numbers, right? So my question is, why are there only 10 numbers? Why 10, only 10 numbers? Why not 5? Why not 6? Why not 12? Why not 14? Why 10? Anyone? Okay. The reason is very simple. When, uh, you, when you started learning mathematics in school, which was in class, uh, I believe uh, you started counting uh, in, in KG uh, or maybe class one, right? How did, you, how, how did your teachers teach you counting? They taught you like using your fingers, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So this is how we all all learned how to count. So when uh, men, I mean, when human beings started counting, and that was thousands of years back, when we used to live in jungles. Okay. So when we started counting, we also started counting using our fingers. And since we have only 10 fingers, so we have 10 numbers in the system. 
because we can't use more than 10. In fact, there was a French system which actually had 20 numbers. Now, that system is not used anymore. But we use this system universally. And this has been the standard of you know, the mathematics, uh, mathematical system all over the world. Right? OK. Now let us talk about equations. Now, now, how many of you have, uh, how many of you know or have come across this term equation? Just type in chat, yes or no. Do you, have you heard this term equation before? Yes, very good. Anyone else who have, have you heard this term equation before? Okay, very good. Saksham, Kushi, you have heard. Soham, you have heard. Okay, excellent. So the word equation, this comes from the word equal. This comes from the word equal. And we all know what equal is. Equal is this. This is equal, right? So for example, if I write two plus three equal to five, this is an equation. We will call this an equation. So the, we call this an equation because there is an equal to sign. That is why we call this an equation. So which means when we write an equation, the left-hand side is always equal to the right-hand side. So it's like, um, it's like a weighing, weighing machine where you have two sides and you put some weight here, you put some weight here, it will balance out. So it is similar to that. So equation means you have a left-hand side, you have a right-hand side, and these two have to be equal. Clear? Okay. Now, we can write equations like two plus five equal, two plus three equal to five, or seven plus four equal to 11, okay? Or, Three into seven is 21. These are all examples of equation, right? And you all know this, right? Now, what happens if I ask you that there is a number and with that number, I add 12 and I get 90. What will be this number here? You can... You can type in chat. Okay. Shardul says seven. Okay. Everyone says seven. Now, how do you get seven? How do you get seven? So, what we do is this. So, since this is unknown, so we assume, yes, correct. All of you are correct. But since this is unknown, therefore, we assume the unknown quantity to be equal to something. And that something we write as x. Okay. Now we use alphabets to, uh, uh, we, we use al alphabets for unknown quantities. Now, unknown quantities are also called variables because we don't know what, what it is. And these numbers, they are fixed numbers. They are called constants. Okay? So, whenever we have an unknown quantity, we use alphabets to demarcate an unknown quantity or a variable. So therefore, what we do is we write this as x plus 12 equal to 90. Now, 
to find the value of x, we have to get rid of this 12. We have to get rid of this 12. So to get rid of this 12, we subtract 12 from both sides. So if I subtract 12 from both sides, what happens? I get this. I have x plus 12, and I then subtract 12. And then on the other side, I had 19, and I subtract 12 from it. So that means I get x plus 12 minus 12 is 19 minus 12, which is 7. 12 and minus 12 cancels out. So I get x equal to 7. Right? So this is a very simple example of you know, how we calculate unknown quantities or variables using an equation. Okay? Now let me Let me give another case where we have, let's say, an unknown quantity minus 6 equals 21. So what will be this unknown quantity? OK, so again, we will write this as x minus 6 equals 21. Now here, you have to be careful. I have a minus 6 here. So therefore, in the previous case, I had a plus 12, which is why I subtracted 12 from both sides. Here, I have a minus 6. So therefore, I will add 6 to both sides. So instead of subtracting, I have to add to get rid of the 6, minus 6. So add 6 to both sides. So if I add 6 to both sides, I get x minus 6 plus 6 equals 21 plus 6. So this cancels out. You get x equals 27, right? Now, let's say I go for a third case. And the third case is this. I have 5x equals 70. So what is x? So here, I have to get rid of the 5. Very good. So I have to get rid of the 5. So to get rid of the 5, I have to divide both sides by 5. So if I divide both sides by 5, I get 5x by 5 equals 70 by 5. 5 and 5 cancels. I get x equals 70 by 5, which is 40. Right? Similarly, if I have x by 8 equals 9, what is x? Very good. So here I have 8 in the denominator. So I have to multiply both sides by 8. So if I do that, then 8 will get cancelled. I get x equals 72. Okay. So depending on what I have, right, I have to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Okay. To get the value of x. Now, for example, if I have a case like this, I have 3x minus 8 equals x plus 34. 
now how do i solve this so i'll go step wise first i have to get rid of the 8 so add 8 on both sides if i add 8 on both sides i will get 3x minus 8 plus 8 equals x plus 34 plus 8 so that means minus 8 plus 8 cancels i get 3x equals x plus 42 now i have an x on the other side so therefore the next step is i have to get rid of this x so then i subtract x from both sides if i subtract x from both sides i will get 3x minus x equals x plus 42 minus x so x minus x cancels out i get 3x minus x which is 2x equals 42 now i have 2x so then i have to divide both sides by 2 so 2x by 2 equals 42 by 2 or 2 and 2 cancels, I get x equals 21. Right? Right? Everyone got it? If you haven't understood, just type in chat. Say, if you have not understood, just type no. Or else type yes. If you have understood, type yes. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So everyone has understood? Very good. Now let us try to see if we can solve some real life problems using what we learned. Okay, a farmer has a number of cows and he plans to double that number next year when he will have 24. Represent this statement as an equation. So try to represent, try to write an equation from here. Just type in chat. No, I don't, I don't want the answer. I want the equation. I want the equation. Equation means this. Let's say x plus 2 equals 6. This is an equation. So write the equation, not the answer. No, that's not the equation. You are still writing the answer. So, number of cows, I don't know what, what is the number of cows. So, if I don't know, so this is an unknown or a variable. So, if it is unknown, then we assume it to be x. Now, the farmer has x cows and he plans to double that number next year. Double means what? 
Double means two times. So that means next year, next year, he will have two times X cows. Now he has X cows. Next year, he will have two X cows. Right? And that 2x has to be 24. So the equation is 2x equals 24. This is how you write the equation. Understood? Is it clear? It's not x plus 12. No. It is 2 times x. You have to see what is given in the statement. What is given in the question. Double the number. That means double of x. Which means 2 times x. So 2 times x will be 24. So the equation becomes 2x equal to 24. After that we can solve it. So that's the second step. But first is the, this is the equation. Okay, let's look at another example. Ravi is six years younger to his brother who's age is 30 years. Write this as an equation. Just write the equation. Just type it in chat. You don't have to solve it. You just write the equation from here. So Ravi is six years younger to his brother. Now Ravi's age is not given. So let Ravi's age be equal to X years. Now what is given? Ravi is six years younger. What is the meaning of six years younger? What do you mean by six years younger? It means Six years less. Yes, smaller. Six years smaller than his brother. Now the brother's age is 30 years. Right? So therefore, Ravi is six years less than 30 years. Right? So X is 30 minus 6. This is the equation. Six years less than his brother. His brother's age is 30. So his, his age would be six years less than 30. Clear? Okay. Okay. Let's try another one. Now this, this you should get. Everyone should get this one. Uh, a box had 
50 oranges. Arun eight. Uh, a few oranges and there were 38 oranges left. Write an equation. Type it in chat. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Yashwan Sardul has got it. Yes, Kushi. Correct. So now you have understood. So let Arun. Uh, eat X oranges. So 50 minus X is 38. This is the equation. Okay. Now has uh, everyone understood what is an equation and how to write an equation? Just type yes if you have understood Type no if you have not. Or you can, you know, give a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, now let me show you something else. Anyway, we are going to do, uh, you know, equations in, in, uh, in a lot of details when we go into the regular classes. So this was just a, a demo session. So I gave you a very brief introduction about equation. Right? Now let me show you something which is more interesting. So can you tell the answer of the following. Eighty eight into ninety three without multiplying. Okay, let me show you. So I'm trying to multiply 88 and 93. Okay, the answer would be 8184. Now, how did I, how did I get this? Now, it's very simple. How far is 88? from 100. How far is 88 from 100? Minus 12. 12 less, that means minus 12. Similarly, how far is 93 from 100? Minus 7. 100 minus 7 is 93. 
So minus seven, right? Now what I will do is I will cross add 88 with minus seven or 93 with minus 12. Both will give me the same answer. 88 minus seven is 81. 93 minus 12 is also 81. So I can do any one. And if I do that, I get this. So 81 becomes the first two digit of my answer. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply minus 12 with minus seven. So if I do this, minus minus becomes plus, 12 times seven is 84. So that becomes my second part of my answer. So the answer is 8184. Now, if you if you actually multiply it and and calculate, you'll you'll get the same answer. Eight one eight four. Right? Have you understood? Okay. Let me give you another example. Let's see how how many of you can get it. <clears throat> Uh, 91 into 97. Let me see who gets it. You can type your answer in chat if you have got it. Shardul, uh, you are close but not correct. Anyone for the others? How far is 91 from 100? Minus 9. How far is 97 from 100? Minus 3. Right? So I cross add any one. So 91 minus 3 is 88. So this becomes 88. 88 will be the first two digits. And then I will multiply minus 9 with minus 3, which is 27. So 8827 becomes my answer. Clear? Understood? Okay, the last one, 92 into For every number should be estimate 9016. No, no, it's not for every number. This is for this particular question. Yes, very good, 9016. This is minus eight, this is minus two. So you cross add, you get 92 minus two is 90, and then you multiply these two, one six. Shardul, uh, yes, what's your doubt? You can type your doubt. Don't worry, I will definitely, you know, uh, go through all of this when, when we get into our regular classes. Um, 
we'll go through a lot of these kind of uh, um, calculation um, methods. Okay. Another thing. No, okay, very good question. Uh, that's a very good question. So actually I forgot to mention this. So this method is applicable to numbers which are close to 100. So numbers can be more than 100 or less than 100. Okay? But it has to be close, close to 100. Okay? So normally, you know, we apply this method to find percentages. For example, if I'm trying to calculate, let's say 93% of 89%, right? So that means what? I'm trying to calculate 93 by 100 into 89 by 100. This is what I'm trying to do. So I'll do this separately, 93 into 89. I'll use this technique. So which will be, this is 11, this is 7. So 89 minus 7 is 82. 11, 7 is 77. So 8277. So this becomes 8277 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.8277. That's your answer. Clear? Shardul, is it clear now? It has to be the number, both the numbers have to be close to 100. Then only you can apply this. Okay? Okay, one last thing before we end today. Another technique to uh, help you, you know, with your calculations. So this is about how to calculate percentages of numbers. For example, if I want to calculate 17% of 260, Okay, numbers close to 100. Okay, you can actually uh, apply this for numbers from around 75 to 125, roughly. Okay, I'll I'll show you when I when I uh, you know do the details of this. I'll show you. <clears throat> okay, percentage of numbers 17 percent of 260. Okay, now instead of so. How do we do this? We actually do it like this. 17 by 100 into 260. This is how we calculate. Right? But instead of that, what we are going to do is we are going to break this 17% into 10% plus 5% plus 2%. Why? Because this can be done mentally without writing. This you have to do by writing. <clears throat> for this you don't need to write why because 10% of any number is the number divide by 10 so that means 10% of 260 is 260 by 10 which is 26 so that means the first number becomes 26. 5% is half of 10%, which means 13. Now 2%. 1% of any number is the number divided by 100. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So 1% of 260 is 2.6. So 2% will be 2.6 into 2, which is 5.2. So 
26, 13, 5.2. Add them up, you get 39, 44.2. That's your answer. And this calculation can be done mentally. 10%, 5%, 1% can be done mentally without writing. So 10% of 260 is 26. 5% is half of that, 13. 26 plus 13 is 39. 1% is 2.6. Double of that is 5.2. Add 5.2 to it, 44.2 is your answer. Clear? Have you understood? Yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, so with that, we come to the end of uh, the, the session for today. Um, if you have any questions or any doubts, you can type them on chat and I'll, I'll try and answer them. Any doubts, any queries, any questions? No? No doubts? Okay. I hope you enjoyed the session and I hope you learned something new. Did you learn anything new today? Right? Excellent. So we will learn a lot of new things in each of uh, the classes that that uh, we will do. So um, I hope to see you all in, in the class, uh, which is going to start from um, next Saturday. Okay. Okay, then. So good night, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank you. See you again.